And in the Caribbean, the government of St. Lucia is hoping to reduce its massive $360 million annual dollar food import bill. Our correspondent Allison Kentish has the story. Like many countries in the Eastern Caribbean, St. Lucia is facing a huge food imports bill. The government is hoping to reduce this annual $360 million figure and is hoping to do so by helping farmers to produce more. Emmanuel Augustine is an award-winning farmer. He says the goal is a good one, but farmers require incentives if they are to boost production figures. He says farmers continue to battle some of the same problems they did decades ago, including inadequate support to tackle problems such as pest management, rebuilding after storms, and the high cost of inputs. What I'm saying is that we have to support one another. We, the farmers, need help from the government. We are working but not profiting. The island's agriculture minister says the goal is to get farmers planting more. The government of St. Lucia continues to focus on food and nutrition security as the main plank upon which we are going to develop agriculture and there are a number of successes to report. The Ministry of Agriculture has launched initiatives such as the Banana and Plantain Diversification Program, which places those two crops at the center of food security and regional export plans. 2014 may have been a bumper year for banana production in St. Lucia, but for those who toil on the land, many of the older challenges remain. From the farming community of Cooley Town in St. Lucia, Alison Kentish for Telesur English.